This is the first picture I took of my Switch 810. I love this case so much. When I first got it, I had a really simple H100i Corsair water cooler, and I just really liked how big and expansive the case was. Before this, I had the H210, and it just was not spacious enough. I was then reading some overclocking forums, and I started to want to hide the power supply cables and uh, try to adjust the airflow of the system. So I decided to make my own power supply shroud. So I made it out of cardboard and I then tested, fitted it, and for the first time ever I got to use a CNC machine. And I uh, used the local schools, um, borrowed their CNC machine, and uh, they let me cut my aluminum with it, and uh, it was great. Um, it fit amazing and it absolutely just completely changed the dynamic of the case and it felt very custom. Uh, I, I then cut out some mesh and put it in the bottom of the case and I even made some holes so that I can plug in the graphics card and pass some tubes in the future for, for water cooling for a 240 millimeter radiator but I ended up never using those holes and uh, ended up just using the H100i for most of the build. Then decided, hey, I want more airflow. I decided to cut out the top of the case too and uh, added a mesh there. At this point, I was really happy with the build, but then I realized the graphics cards weren't getting enough flow and was getting restricted by the hard drive cage. So I took the hard drive cage, brought it up, removed the DVD drives, and just made it one, one hard drive cage. Um, at the time, there was a big crypto mining phase, and graphics cards were really hard to get, and uh, I ended up getting some dual GTX 770 classifieds from my single R9 280X that I had, and that was great. Those cards were super fast. I think they were the 4 gig models. Uh, I then made my own custom like GPU support brackets, and um, like I even made a motherboard shroud, and then a SLI bridge um, out of like aluminum. Um, almost everything that I did with the computer case builds and stuff was with aluminum. So I sleeved all my cables and made everything look really nice and I finally was able to get a 7970 that I was able to BIOS flash with an R9 280X BIOS because they're physically the same exact card and get a little bit of a clock boost and uh, I essentially just got rid of the GTX 770s but then after that I took everything apart and started building some other cases so this case ended up sitting for a long time and I put my Lego R2D2s inside. Now after a while I started doing a new build and I was really wanting to build an entire bits power system where the fittings were bits power, the radiators were bits power, the cooling blocks, everything bits power. I was doing a build in the Corsair, I think like 7000 or something, and uh, but it just wasn't really working out. So I decided to kind of scratch that and take everything out, and I decided, hey, I think it might be time to do another build in this case. and original NZXT Switch 810 case. So decided to return the Corsair case. Just making my dream PC case is, is just absolutely the best build I've ever done. So one of the issues that I had was the backplate of the GPU water block was being blocked by the f RAM slot fingers. So what I had to do was I had to take a Dremel and just cut off the very bottom of the RAM slots. I did want to mention that it took about a whole two, a year and a half to collect all the parts for this build. It was absolutely insane trying to get all these components. It was, it was a nightmare, just ordering from different places, discontinued parts. And what's really crazy is that this build took like months, like actual months. It took me like three months to build and months to collect the parts. 
The specs that I chose was an i9-7980 XE with dual RTX 3090s. I decided to go all hardline tubing. Essentially my dream build. Had eight sticks of Corsair Dominator Platinum DDR4 memory with a Asus Rampage 6 Extreme Encore motherboard. A VRM cooler block as well as the CPU block and a nickel plated variant. Whoops. So that everything is like silver and aesthetic. For the power supply, I had a 1300 watt EVGA gold power supply. Um, that was just the, the, the one that I had lying around. I had some blue cables, but I didn't really like the blue ones, so I decided to switch to green and Hey guys, quick update here. I just installed my first clear tube for the uh, 3090s. Really like how the aesthetic of this build is going. And yeah, stay tuned. Decided to just like slowly piece parts of the puzzle together. The whole main thing about the build was doing a hard line tubing, dual GPU, full water cooled setup, like balls to the wall, just absolutely like the best system that I could build. I was able to make my dream come true in my first like very big computer case and uh, I even at the first time when I started building these types of cases I, I never really thought I would actually get here but I ended up making it and built my dream system. What's funny is when I did this build, I accidentally forgot to peel the back of the, the CPU block um, sticker off. And when I first started up the computer, like the temps on the CPU were just terrible. I was like, oh no. I had to actually undo all the tubing to the CPU block just to remove this sticker that says do not and like do not forget to remove this and I forgot so it was a pain but I was able to remove it and I got the system back up and running and it was absolutely amazing build but one thing that I will have to say is that just water cooling systems are just very hard to disassemble maintain uh, decided that uh, this case, as beautiful as this build is, just was not feasible for me to keep because I just couldn't keep up with the maintenance of the system. So I decided to take it all apart. And so that's why I sound really sad in this next segment while I'm disassembling the case, taking the last video before I just tear the whole build apart. Just making my dream PC case is, is just absolutely the best build I've ever done. For me, it's it's kind of a heartache, but this is a story of me spending nine years with this case so far and probably more builds in the future. I still have all the parts and yeah, I love this case and if you have the chance to get one, I definitely recommend it. So I wanted to make this video to say goodbye to this build. I just built it. But it was more of a thing, like a bucket list thing that I wanted to build. This PC, get some light on it. This PC, I, I, I always loved the NZXT Switch 810 case. I used this uh, case for multiple previous builds, starting with my i7-3770K. Now, I always love bits power fittings, multi GPU setups, and SLI bridges and whatnot. And I always wanted to build something absolutely ridiculous with like VRM cooling, CPU block, dual GPUs, everything bits power. Just all over the top components. Had some tasteful accents here of bits power screws. It's 
got dual 360 millimeter radiators. Oh, I'm sorry, 420 millimeter. These are 3 by 140. The previous build that I did, I uh, I used hardline tubing, but I uh, kind of bitched out and used 90 degree fittings on every single time I had to use a bend. But I wanted to prove to myself that I actually could build this computer. Even included some pretty difficult bends into this build. I think this is the most beautiful PC I've ever built. Just taking this video for documentation purposes. And I'm really glad that I was able to build it in the in the PC case that I started PC modding with. One of my first mods I ever did on a case was cutting this open so I get better air ventilation through the front of the case. It's got dual EVGA RTX 3090s. My first GPU ever was a GTX 760 EVGA card. And then I got a second one for SLI. And I was super happy at the time because it outperformed the current Titan. At the time it was one of the first Titan cards. The dual 760 GTX 760 setup with uh, 3 gigabytes of DDR5 VRAM. Now we're on GDR6X with the 3090s with 24 gigabytes of VRAM each. I already pulled out four sticks here. I have a different PC for my daily use. Uh, my reliable PC is going to be in my case labs. Uh, this PC never fails me. But yeah, she is absolutely beautiful. And before I tear her apart, I just wanted to make this video really appreciate and bask in the glory of what this PC used to be. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you guys had a question, leave a comment down below and go visit our store at divinf.net slash store. Thanks so much for watching.